In Active Directory, we have a tool called Active Directory Users and Computers, which is just one of the many different tools that comes when you promote a server to be a domain controller. If we go to the Tools menu in Server Manager, we can see all five different Active Directory tools that come when you promote a server to be a domain controller. Being able to manage this from your own computer as an IT administrator would be a nice thing to have, and Microsoft does make a tool that allows you to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install all five of these same Active Directory tools onto a Windows 10 computer so we can manage Active Directory without having to log into the server. So let's switch over to our Windows 10 computer. We're going to log in now to the Windows 10 computer and then we'll go ahead and download a program that will allow us to remotely manage Active Directory. Since we're doing this on a VMware client in VMware Workstation Player, we're going to need to do this from our host computer. So while we're waiting for that to log in, let's switch over to a web browser, and we're going to type in something into a search. Let's type in remote tool for administration Windows 10. And make sure that we download the remote server administration tools from Microsoft.com, not one of these third-party companies, which will end up giving us something we don't want. So there it is. It says remote server administration tools for Windows 10. Go ahead and click download. Now make sure you choose the right tool for you. So we have here Windows Server 2016 64-bit. That is the version that we're using. There's also a 1709 version, which is a beta version of Windows Server. And we'll go ahead and click Next. And let's go ahead and save the file. And once it's done, we'll go ahead and run it. So we've saved the file. Let's go ahead and show all the downloads. And we'll open the containing folder. Let's go ahead and copy that. And then we'll go to our client, our Windows 10 computer, and then we'll paste it. And there it is. Let's go ahead and double click and run it. And when prompted, we'll go ahead and choose, yes, we'd like to install it. We'll go ahead and run through the wizard, accept the end user license agreement until it's completed. In order for this to work properly, you'll need to log into your client computer as someone with administrator rights into Active Directory. Now, I've logged in as the actual administrator, but if you're logging in as a user, make sure that user has administrator rights, although they'll be able to access the program when they open it up. It'll say they don't have rights to Active Directory when they try to execute it. Now, this update could take a while to complete, anywhere from a few minutes all the way up to 15 or 20 minutes. So you do need to be patient. Also, if you do get any errors during the installation, it's typically because there's not enough RAM or enough hard drive space in order to make the program work. It could also be because you installed a 32-bit onto a 64 or a 64 onto a 32-bit. One way you can double check that you have the right version is you can go into Control Panel and in the system icon, it'll actually tell you which version you have. We'll go ahead and switch to the large icon view. Click on System. And there we can see Windows 10 Enterprise and the 64-bit operating system. You don't have to use Enterprise to get this to work, but you do need to make sure you have the right bit operating system for the program you're using. Let's go back to our program, and we can see that it is progressing as we go along. And once it's done, we'll go ahead and open it up. Microsoft does make the same tool available to you for Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 7. So if you have one of the older operating systems, you can just type that in when you do the search, and you can get the older version if you need it. Our installation is complete. We'll need to restart our virtual machine. And it doesn't matter, matter whether you have a virtual machine or a physical computer. You'll need to restart it either way. Our Windows 10 computer has restarted, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into Control Panel, and there's several ways you can do that. You can just go ahead and do the search for Control Panel. And then you can go to Administrative Tools. And then inside there, we see all of our Active Directory 
tools. So you see the exact same five tools you would have seen in the server. You can also click on the Start button, and you're going to see something new under All Apps. You're going to see Server Manager. That was not there before, so let's go ahead and click on that. And it'll just look similar to our Windows 2016 Server Manager. And from there, we should be able to click on Tools. And there it is. And we can open up Active Directory Users and Computers. So again, we are on our Windows 10 computer opening up Active Directory. And from here, we can do whatever we want the same as if we were logged into the server. So that's how we install the RSAT tools, the remote server administrative tools for Microsoft Windows 10.